Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, when I made my Stabilizer mission video way back when, I played with my Saturnite character and my Multiverse character. But one detail I forgot to mention is that I have two accounts. The reason why I was able to get my Saturnite character and my Multiverse character is because I have two DC Universe Online accounts. I have one account on PC and one account on PS4. When I started playing the DC Universe Online, I started playing on the PS3 when the game uh, went free to play. I should have started playing the game as soon as it was launched, but uh, way back when, uh, the reviews were not very kind uh, for, for the game. Like The, the, the kindest review were lukewarm at best. The, the best reviews were saying that eh, it was a fun game for, for a while, but it wasn't worth uh, paying 15 bucks a month or something like that. And uh, the not so kind reviews were a lot worse than that. Uh, also, one thing that people were scratching their heads was that they made a DC, a DC game, a DC Universe game, where you, you could not play the Batman or Superman or any of the DC characters that people like so much. Uh, that changed over time, obviously, but way back when, they were pushing uh, the idea that the next legend is you. So they were pushing really hard for you to create your own character. And they were working really hard to prevent you from creating uh, Batman, Superman, and all those characters. So way back when, I did not start playing the game right away. I started playing it when it became free to play, and I started playing it on PS3, and uh, I got hooked. And when I started playing on the PS3, I, I played as the Phantom, the ghost who walks. I, I created maybe, maybe half a dozen characters when I started playing the game, and it took me about yeah about a half a dozen characters before I found the, the, I created the Phantom. And I got this is the character I used for roughly the first year and a half that I played the DCO. If we could have at the time, I probably would have made the Batman, but that that, is, that wasn't really an option. I tried to create sort of a Batman of the North, like a white version of Batman, if you like. Although uh, there's already Moon Knight, that's sort of a white version of Batman. Uh, but I, I didn't really like it at the time, and also at the time I was using uh, martial arts for the Batman, of course, and. Uh, with martial arts, I had those uh, those big spikes at the end of my hands that I didn't like very much. Of course, I was a uh, pretty ignorant way back when. I didn't realize that you could just remove the weapons uh, for martial arts if you if you didn't like it. But obviously, at the time, I didn't know that. And then I figured, okay, if I'm stuck using a weapon, which character that uses a weapon should I use? And the answer became obviously the Phantom. And at the time, I didn't care very much about styles because. Uh, Pretty much straight at character creation, you can create a pretty good version of a friend of Phantom. Uh, as years went by, I modified the look a bit. Like here, I have the uh, the Kryptonian chest piece, I have the Absolute Zero belt, I have the Doctor Midnight boots. But way back when, straight at character creation, uh, you could have a pretty good version of the Phantom already. So for a long, long while, didn't care very much about styles. I wasn't playing the Broker way back when as well. Uh, again, it took me a year and a half before I started playing the Broker. I didn't understand the, the idea of the broker. When I was looking at the broker, I was trying to find a better gear, gear that was better than what I had. And very often, the gear that was on the broker was worse than the gear that my character had. And it was uh, very expensive. I didn't understand why you had to pay millions and millions for gears that was not very good. Until I realized that uh, you didn't purchase the gear, you purchased the styles, and some styles were more rare than others. So I started playing on PS3 way back when. And uh, but then I had some friends that decided to try out the game. I had a, I had a bunch of friends who were playing on uh, who were playing EverQuest on PC, and they decided I, they decided to give uh, this universe online a try. So at the time I had no choice. I had to create my friend Saturn Knight, and I had to play on PC as well in order to be able to play with my friends. Way back when, this is pretty much how my Saturn Knight character was looking. Ah, uh, how, how things changed. Although I kind of miss that look a bit. I love using uh, slimline costumes. I wish we had more slimlines and better slimlines, but oh well, what can you do? So I started playing on PC as well to play with my friends. Although at the time my PC was not very powerful, so it, it could run the DC Universe online, but not very well. So when I would play by myself, I would play on, uh, on PS3, and I would only really play on PC when I would play with my friends. And way back when, I created my Saturn Knight as a ice tank. Uh, basically, I had a friend who created a fire tank. I created an ice tank, and we were a fire and ice. It was that uh, the level of thought we put into it. So I, I would play on PC to be able to play with my friends. And uh, but as years went by, 
I would pretty much flip flop between uh, PlayStation and PC for various reasons. Uh, you guys may have noticed that at some point when they added uh, the Triumph statues to the anniversary event, there's a few statues that I could not purchase because I never played uh, some of the raids with my multiverse character. Uh, basically what happened is that, uh, so I started playing on uh, PS3 and PC, uh, but then uh, most of the time I would, I would usually play on PS3. Also at some point my friends on PC pretty much uh, stopped playing. Uh, and I have other friends who decided to play on PS3. So I, I eventually I played more and more on PS3 and not so much on PC until Origin Crisis. When we got Origin Crisis, uh, the game became uh, a little bit uh, a little bit more difficult to play on PS3. I remember when we were playing uh, Paradox Wave, uh, sometimes uh, people would say, "Oh, yeah, careful for the big ball, ball of fire or the big ball of energy." And I was like, "What what big ball?" And then I would I would get knocked out. After a while, I came to realize that, okay, if, when someone would call the big ball, I would just move out of the way. Uh, it was a bit uh, more challenging, let's say, to, to play the mission uh, a bit blind. But uh, sometimes people would, would call out uh, certain effects, and uh, we would try to blindly uh, avoid them. But then uh, when we got uh, Sons of Trigon, I upgraded my PC. I got a pretty powerful PC. So I started playing the game more on PC and not, not as much on, on PS3. And uh, also on PC, I started seeing effects that I had never seen on PS3. Like when I would play Paradox Wave on PC, now I would see all the effects that people were calling out that I, I just wouldn't see on PS3. So for a while, I was playing the game a lot more on PC than on PS3. So much so that I even went as far as to purchase the... Uh, the collector's edition on PC so that I could have the uh, bad drone that you see here. So I pretty much flip flop between the PS3 and PC for various reasons. And then when I got my PS4, uh, I started playing more on PlayStation. Also, I started making my videos uh, on PlayStation as well. I was able to figure out how to make uh, videos on PC eventually, but uh, it was more convenient to make videos on uh, PlayStation for various reasons. And also sometimes I would switch from heroes to villains. Uh, at some point on PC, I was playing most of my villain character. I had a Doctor Doom character that I kind of enjoyed uh, playing. And on PlayStation, at some point, I have a group of friends who decided to, to start playing this universe online. And for some reason, they wanted to be evil villains. So we created a whole bunch of uh, characters. Like I created a character that was uh, called uh, the Prometheum Knight. Uh, Eventually, I turned that character into my uh, Dark Multiverse character, but uh, the character started as a Pr Prometheum Knight, and the, in a weird way, it sort of evolved into a weird version of uh, an evil Mr. Miracle. At some point, I was using uh, Skimming, and some of the styles I was using were pretty rem reminiscent of uh, Mr. Miracle, but uh, in an evil way. In the case of my multiverse, as I mentioned early on, I played for the first year and a half with my Phantom character, but eventually, I, I have a group of friends that decided to play on the PS3. And I created a new character to be able to play with my friends so that we could all be on the same level. So I created a Magneto first class character. And once again, pretty early on, I pretty much had the styles I needed for my character. So, I, so again, even with my Magneto for a long, long time, I didn't care very much about styles. I pretty much had my Magneto styles pretty early on in the game. And it is with my Magneto character that I learned uh, to play the, the Broker. Obviously, once we got our the lairs added into the game, we had to get collections to be able to get the amenities in our lairs. So that is when I started. Uh, that is when I had a reason to actually use the Broker. Uh, yeah, you could farm and farm and farm to get those collections, but the rare collections were pretty pretty tough to get uh, by just farming. So the better option was to sell uh, to sell a whole bunch of your collections that you didn't need on the Broker and then to try to purchase the valuable collections from the broker. So that was the first uh, motivation I had to start using the broker. And then eventually, a bit after I created my channel, I switched my Magneto first class character to Multiverse. And uh, my Multiverse has pretty much been my main character ever since. But some of you guys were wondering, how does Multiverse manage to get two characters at the same time? Uh, that is how. Basically, I have two accounts. One account on PC and one account on PS4. Uh, people often ask me if I could play on uh, on Xbox or on Switch. Uh, I already have two accounts uh, to manage. Uh, I have about 50 characters between the two accounts. So I, I don't think I would have any time to be able to play on Xbox and Switch uh, eventually. Although you never know. Uh, maybe some days, many years from now, I'll purchase an Xbox and Nintendo Switch. 
and I'll decide to give DC Universe Online a try on those uh, platforms. Uh, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. So there you go, guys. For those of you who were wondering, uh, this is why I can have two characters. I have two accounts.